Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to explain the differences between bus stops and bus stands with and without the bus stations. So there's many different types and many different rules that go with them. So first of all we have the well known bus stop which is bus stop painted on the floor or bus stop flag and you can stop there as a bus driver and you've got an unlimited amount of time really so you can practically park there, as long as there's no other signs that say you can't. So that one is pretty easy, pretty pretty standard. Next up we have the other standard type, which is a stand, a bus stand. You'll see it written on the floor, the first main difference, and it's really the only real difference, is that on a bus stand under the Transport Act 1985, section 80 part D, the duty of a passenger transport authority is not to inhibit competition. A passenger transport authority in exercising their functions in relation to any disposal under section 75 of the Act shown, shall so conduct themselves not to inhibit competition between persons providing or seeking to provide public passenger transport services in their area. In short, what this means is you can only park on the stand for five minutes and TFGM or whoever it is that operate the bus station is able to report you to the traffic commissioner under section 80 for blocking up bus stands. For example, back when the big bus war was on you had the 42s and the 142s and stagecoaches 42s first say couldn't block up all the stands and refused to move neither could stagecoach because it inhibits competition so the other main type then that we have is a layover bay in most stations you can park on this between services or for a meal break depending on the area we then move into the bus stations and there's a few different types of bays in a bus station. The die roll bay which is where you drive in and reverse out. The biggest issue with these is safety and if you are a bus entering one of these and you're behind the buses you must give way if it's safe to do so. My personal preference to these stands is, although every company is different depending on their policy, but my way normally ticks every single box. So my normal way of reversing off the bays is hazard lights on, because that signals that you are waiting to move. At that point I shut the door, then select reverse, once reverse is select, that is it, I am going. I check to make sure everywhere around me is clear. And then just before I move off, I'll sound my hooter. This draws the attention that you are moving and you are going to reverse. Once you've begun your reverse manoeuvre, you should not for any reason return to the bus stand. Once you have started reversing, finish reversing. Do not return to the stand. Only stop if it's unsafe to continue the manoeuvre. So a bus comes flying from behind you. That is the only time you stop. In some places, like the traffic centre, you are able to turn and reverse at the same time. Most bus stations that are owned by our local council, you must reverse straight. So, as I said, at the traffic centre, you're able to reverse out and turn to the right, which then points you to head out. If you are turning whilst reversing, make sure you take extra care to them buses to your right and make sure none of them are moving. If any of them do 
go to move just give a quick sound of your horn and that will drag the driver's attention to check his mirrors again and see you it's something I've done it's something that happens if you need to sound your hooter in them bus stations do so it's the only way you can drag your, the other driver's attention to you you may have been in his blind spot because of the bus at the side of him when he made his checks in other bus stations such as Middleton you must reverse straight in Middleton you get two lines the furthest line is your stop line then your next one up is your reverse line so you reverse until you can see the first line at which point the back of your bus will not have passed the other yellow line at the back of it at that point then you may turn right or left depending on the station to leave the stand all reversing that you should do must be carried out with care and me personally as I enter one of the bus stations I'll check for hazard lights, reversing lights listening for sirens going off because some lights are quite so hard and small but listening for the reversing horns so most companies do have the policy in place that you must reverse with your hazard lights on so looking for hazard lights is an easy way to tell some drivers don't do it so again you'll have to look for reversing lights most other bus stations are the ones that you're used to where you drive into a stand and drive off a stand Again, you can only park there for five minutes because you may inhibit competition and uh, bus station members of staff are able to move you on if you are there for longer. Most bus stations have a layover bay of some description. Some have a bus park where you will be reversing. So the same applies, you will reverse into the stand rather than drive in the stand and reverse out of it. Again, a personal preference to these is, as you enter the bus park, if you are looking to park, switch them hazard lights on. That it signals to anyone that's behind you that you are looking to park and you may stop and start reversing at any given time. It just gives everyone around you some idea of what you plan to do. I've seen it, I've been behind people in Stockport where they just stop dead and then start reversing and you're like, well, hang on a minute, I'm here, I'm here, you know, it's, it, it, it's one of them, it's best that you do switch on your hazard lights as you enter a bus park and people will then tend to keep a distance from you because you are, you are saying, wait there guys, I am going to be reversing at some point into a stand, because a lot of these bus parks you can, you have to drive through them to get out or go round onto a stand. So it's it's just an easy way of being able to tell whether you want to reverse or not. Again, just take care. You'll find drivers mulling around these bus parks and you may find the odd person who can't read and shouldn't be there mulling around. It is that's another reason why I personally sell my horn before reversing. Because you are then saying to everybody around you, not just the drivers, hang up, I'm reversing. You know, and people do tend to pay more attention to it. It's happened again to me in the traffic centre where I've started my reverse, then say two bays up a diamond driver started their reversing manoeuvre. But rather than giving way, they've just gone flat out. Now, the problem is because they turn right when they reverse, they're then behind me and in my way. So, it's an easy way just to be, you know, give a quick sound of the hooter. You, it's your turn, you are reversing on that reversing manoeuvre. We all have to take it in turns and that's about it really. So, with that, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. We do have a Discord server, the link is going to be down below, where you can come chat, share your experiences. If you're a bus enthusiast, whether you're a driver, you know, whether you're looking to become a driver, come join, have a chat. There's plenty of advice and bits and bobs in there. You can share photos. There's loads you can do. And then finally, just a word, these videos would not be possible without the help of our Patrons. 
our Patreon is a great way to stay in touch with us and share the little extras that we have. Plenty of extra videos, it's quite cheap, every little helps and everything that you give gets put back into our B10. So finally, just please do subscribe and press the bell icon. We know that 50% of you don't subscribe. Don't be one of that 50% and subscribe now. The show was wrong. Let's get up there. Let's be big. Obviously, if you like this video, give it a good like, give it a share, and we'll be much appreciated of it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you around.